Today we're planting a Spring Wonder Sergeant Cherry, which shouldn't grow into this building right next to us. The other thing we have to worry about is underground utilities. In North Dakota, dial 811 before digging or go to nd1call.com. In this location, we've already done that. Actually, we did it a year ago. The tree that was planted unfortunately didn't take. So today we're going to plant into this old spot. This type of planting stock is called bare root. And it's bare root, as you can see, because the roots have no soil on them, or very little. One thing about a bare root tree, an advantage is you can see what you have for a root system. And what we want to do before planting is get rid of any broken or damaged roots, such as this one right here. There's another one over on this side I'm going to trim back. It's been skinned a little bit. Otherwise, this is a pretty healthy root system. Now we know how big the root system is, we know how big a hole to dig. Well, as we can see, this hole from the previous tree is not big enough. You know, here in North Dakota, a lot of people think about planting the tree deep because of our high winds. And actually, that's not correct. We should plant it at the root collar, or root flare, where the stem transitions to become roots. This is the depth the tree should be planted. That's the depth that roots are naturally in the wild. So we're going to have to dig this one a little bit deeper and wider, this hole. But that's the depth that we'll plant this tree at. That's pretty good. Okay, we've got the depth set. And one of the things I want to point out is there is a little bit of airspace underneath this. We're going to backfill with soil and then water it in. Let the soil and water kind of fill in those air spaces. We're not going to fill them in beforehand. The other thing is, if the roots are too long, you know what, you can trim them back just a little bit. That one and this one. Okay, you want to start and I'll... A couple other things to point out. We still have to stake and strap this tree. I also want to trim any broken or dying branches. Actually, there are none on this tree. This tree's in really good shape. But a lot of people think they have to cut back the top because the root system's been cut back. Well, a lot of research has been done on that and we found that actually leaving the top in place is really important. The other thing is in terms of packing the soil and the roots. We don't need to pack the soil very hard. When we water this tree in, which we'll do in a few moments, that should carry the soil down into those air pockets and firm it up as well as hold it in place. And of course, strapping will hold it in place. And we don't want to choke the tree with the straps. Just cradle it so it doesn't blow over in a high wind. Last thing you want to do is water the tree in, which we're doing right now. A good soak will do it. We'll do a good job. We'll carry the soil back around those roots and help keep that root system from drying out. I like to water at planting pretty quickly right after planting and then maybe two weeks later if there's been no rain. For the rest of the summer, maybe once a week, once every two weeks, depending on how much rain there's been. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. Have fun.